Good morning. It's 5.40 a.m. <clears throat> That's 20 minutes before 6 o'clock. I'm greeted by the birds chirping. Where are the bunnies? Look. A little sprout. Flowers are blooming. I shouldn't be too psyched. I'm allergic to the fucking things. <laughs> ah, good morning, everybody. Hail and hearty hello from Boston, Massachusetts, United States of America. It's 48 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a nice morning. It might rain off and on. And uh, that's fine. Because the April showers bring May flowers. Or in my case, May sneezes. <laughs> How are you? Oh, good morning, burbs. <laughs> the chirping burb. <laughs> Oh, boy. How are you guys doing? Good to see you. Thanks for showing up. It's the Gratitude Show. It's the morning show here at Reverend Sully's ch channel here on YouTube. Your dojo for tactical and practical spirituality. Things I can't put in the title. I can't put tactical and practical spirituality in the title. Or the incel cast. Or incels. Or MGTOW. Because you won't get any ads. I kind of don't care about the ads, but, you know, I worked so long to get monetized. I should play along. <laughs> um, but this is about gratitude and about blessings. It's not religious. It doesn't have to be religious. Um, I'm not a really religious kind of person. I respect other people's beliefs, though. But I wake up and I'm already grateful for eight different things. And that's my foundation. I call it El Ocho, the foundation eight. <clears throat> and then from there I build. And I am grateful for my family, my friends, my faith, my freedom, my health, my union job, a good night's sleep and a decent breakfast. And from there, I just add to them. And this gratitude list has been like the most effective coping mechanism I've ever experienced in my life. A life filled with chronic angries, chronic mopies, and chronic lonelies. I'm on a bunny hunt. Looking for a bunny, aren't we all? Ah, <laughs> oh, boy, oh boy. <sighs> Happy May, it's May the 2nd, 2024. Now today's the day where the subway has disruptions. <clears throat> May 2nd through the 10th. Oh, great. Oh, well. Let's see how drastically we're affected. Apparently, there'll be at every 10 minutes or so frequency with the morning train. I'm still grateful for the public transportation. I've never owned a car. Hey, it keeps the wrong women away. Trust me. <laughs> I'm on Match.com. I had this robust conversation with this one last. And then I mentioned, hey, you know what? I don't get out to Waltham much. I don't have a car. I never get to Waltham. And it's like, the, so it's like turning off the faucet. It just stopped. Could it be? <laughs> Who knows? Hey, you know what freedom is? Freedom is not making up someone else's story for them. Freedom 
is not wasting your imagination on somebody else's story like that. Freedom is not using hope or worry. I know it sounds... It, my ideas about hope are a lot... It sounds a lot worse than it actually is, but it's more helpful than you realize. There's always room for hope. You gotta have hope. You know, if you... But... It's not living in the moment. It's not. It's um, It's using your imagination to predetermine an outcome. And then you have some kind of attachment to that outcome too. And worry is the same thing as hope. That, but you're just using negative energy instead of positive energy too. Like, you know, you're, you're thinking about the outcome of situations. Now... It's good to unite the two forces of, you, of worry and hope. That's what I've done. And I, the unitive power of those two, it's called vision. You can, you know, plan for things. Will it go well? Well, we, you know, we hope so. What, ha- you know, do you have a plan for if it goes sideways? File under worry. You know, it's good to be mindful of these things, but not to have it be the entire end all be all of anything. I just, I noticed that in this life full of expectations, of dashed expectations, that my attachment to hope and the imaginary outcome that comes with having so much hope um, and expectation, that is what, is what brings you down the quickest and the hardest. It's better to live in the moment, in the now. <clears throat> Today is going to have enough problems. Tomorrow will have its own problem set. Yesterday well, is yesterday. We can't do anything about that, really, except for maybe using it as a learning moment, if anything. Ah, <sighs> oh, here comes the bus. It's a wonderful thing. It's 5:47. Pretty much on time, I believe. If it leaves at 5.40, it takes it eight minutes to get all the way up the street with no traffic. I know, I know, I'm being nitpicky and micromanaging. I would, (laughs) I don't know. I'm just being, I'm just being me. But all the same, I am grateful for the public transportation of Boston. I really am. I'm 51 years old. I've never owned a car. Never needed to. I grew up in the projects of South Boston with a single working mom who never had her, her license. We never had a car in her family. You know. You know, her second husband had a car. But he was only around for a couple of years, you know. So it's not like that, became, you know, became a real part of our lives, having a car. It was more of reality was before we got a, <clears throat> before we got a washer dryer for the laundry lugging your <laughs> lugging everything up the street the laundromat lugging groceries home mm-hmm. and if you miss the tea then you got to do it on your oh, good morning you got to do it on your feet do it on your feet what what kind of channel is this <laughs> Thursday. Looking forward to the weekend. I work at a university, so uh, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to the summer break, which I'll gladly take. And yeah. Ain't that wonderful? You got plans for the weekend? I got the same old, same old. If my plans don't fall through, I gotta meet a friend Saturday afternoon for late lunch. Have a couple of drinks. (laughs) The one day I can have a couple of drinks. 
and um, you know, just the usual like old people shit, you know? Cutting coupons. Putting all your pennies into 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 paper rolls, so you can give them to children on Halloween. Like way back in the day, people would give used to give you apples with coins like, shoved into them. You know what I mean? <laughs> people don't do that anymore. And it's springtime, the world is blooming. Lots of, lots of, lots of little blossoms. I love the little blossoms. <clears throat> I'm an old man, so I carry a handkerchief. Now, don't be alarmed. I'm not wiping my nose with the American flag. This is not a flag. It's a handkerchief. It does not have the proper dimensions of the American flag. It does not have the proper amount of stars. It does not have the proper amount of, of stripes. It is not a flag. That is a handkerchief. I wear it around my neck to keep the sweat off my back from going down between my shoulder blades to where the sun don't shine. And it prevents swamp butt. Swamp butt. I don't want swamp butt. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Who wants swamp butt? Not me. Sounds like I should be a Super villain for Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing meets Swamp Butt. Oh no. All right, let's see. Oh no, it's arriving now. You're gonna miss it. I hear the train a coming. Hear that train a coming? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah, even if I started booking it from the top of the stairs there, I would never have made it. Can you hear it? Can you hear the, 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 the squeak of the, uh, of the brakes there? You'll never make it, kid. See, you already missed it. You're too late. Oh. Way to run, kid, though. Give it some effort, some hustle. Nine minutes to the next train. Well, good thing we have each other, huh? <laughs> now, see if that bus was better on time. Mm -hmm. Now, see, I'm just being an ass. But I'm really good at being an ass. It comes naturally to me. I'm cracking up. It's very cheeky. You know, uh, the whole thing. Oh my god. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? Baby pigeons. You never see them. You can only hear them. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? Have you, have you ever, ever seen, ever, ever seen a baby pigeon? Pigeon. Burbs. That's Burbs song, all right. I saw a baby pigeon once. It fell from the, from its nest under a bridge. It, it was, it was passed. All right, eight minutes for the next train. Great. Every 10 minutes, yeah. Great. Heck of a thing to do to a chef on polenta day. Have you ever really, 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 really loved a pigeon? Pigeon. Yes, but gratitude. 
It's the Gratitude, the morning show here at Reverend Sully's channel here. Your dojo for tactical and practical spirituality and the base foundation of our dojo, of our katas, of our... Um, of what we learn here, the foundation of our martial art, of our tactical and practical spirituality is gratitude. And it's helped me a lot. I got this suggestion from Gary Beekler of Nerdrotic, uh, who suggested gratitude. He's uh, an ex-felon, did some prison. He, he's, you know, came through recovery. He's sober and clean and um, has that perspective and he's you know just he suggested have you tried gratitude have you tried a gratitude list and i've been doing a gratitude list since 2020 early 2020 and it's made all the difference it really has so i'm eternally grateful to you gary peekler of nerdrotic i'm sorry i don't watch friday night tights much anymore i just buddy i'm just so sorry i'm so tired of the outrage stuff just it just I can't relax on a Friday night after a long week and, you know I love the chat and I love you know all the, the people all the different souls out there you know that we've like you know connected with but I just can't do it anymore I, I, I tuned in during December well it's because heel versus baby face had taken the month off and I just, you know I, I listen I was a I watched his channel I got his t-shirt I send him a, I send him so many super chats that I probably have bought one of those hot toys that are behind him, but it's just that I hit a wall with that individual where it's like I just can't deal with the apoplectic meltdowns. And because um, that stuff has an effect on me. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to be constantly wound up and I don't, I, I'm just, listen, there's a huge audience for that though. There really is. It, it's, it, it's like sports radio here in Boston, like, you know, in the 20th century before we started winning championships, you know, there's nothing, nothing more entang, you know, entitled and angrier than a Boston sports fan. And I see a lot of similarities between Boston sports radio of the of the late twentieth century and the current like outrage culture of the fandoms, the fellowship, you know, even you know CG, aka Comics Gate. We're not supposed to say that word. Only dirty people, only shit people, say that word. Or bad persons say that word. Can't say you can't say, use the okay hand gesture anymore. It's got too much luggage. You just don't do it. Is this one still working? <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, I mean. Friday Night Tights. So what I'll, what will I be doing tomorrow night? Not watching Friday Night Tights, I'll play that. And it's not like, I, I'm not picking on these creators. Who, they, they couldn't give two shits about me or my opinion or, I mean, you know what's the worst thing? Fucking Super Chats. If you Super Chat Friday Night Tights, you know, yeah, I, I a couple. It was the last time I sent a super chat to Friday Night Tights was over a year ago, and I sent thirty dollars, which I thought was enough to get. And then it's like, until you know, you don't want to miss it. You know, you don't want to miss like your own super chat. You spent thirty bucks on this to be part of an ongoing conversation on a show. And if they don't get the Super Chats, they have something called a, a square-up show. Where they catch up on Super Chats, sometimes a couple of days, sometimes a week or more later. 
So now your comment is being taken out of context, out like so far removed from the conversation that it originated with. And um, I mean, Gary has a million subscribers now. Friday Night Tights gets 18 to 20,000 viewers live now. I mean, your chances of getting your, your super chat read is probably on some kind of sliding scale with how much you spent. If you, put the, if you throw 100 bucks down, your chances are better than the poor bloke who just sent 20 bucks. And it's stressful for me because it's like, you can't, what are you going to do? Get up and go to pee or get something to eat and you're like, you missed your super chat? That's happened to me before. Shut up. What the fuck? This is the most annoying fucking shit. Man, it's first thing in the morning. Fucking A. Here we go. Here we go. All right, not that bad. 6.01 a.m. The trains are going to Park Street, where you can exit the train and take a shuttle bus. Yet it is working. You know, they are replacing rails. They are, you know, they had so many mandated slowdown zones. We got two, three, eight eight people here at the second station and one Biden voter. He's wearing a fucking face diaper. Like it worked in the first place, right? You're breathing my air. You're trying to kill my grandmother. Mmm. Everyone has their own COVID story. They do. And some people genuinely did lose people around there, Next too. Next stop, Fortis Square. All right. Hey, I can... I don't have to believe things to respect things. I don't have to share that, that belief in order to say that, hey, that's how, that is your belief, those are your feelings, you are a person, I can see this matters to you. He's bombed. Yes, I shave my head daily. I got one of those electric razors that had like five floating heads. It's, it's wonderful to be honest with you. It's a game changer for this bald dude. Never going back. Never going back again. Yeah, see, handkerchief. Prevents swamp butt. Dude, this thing's so soaked sometimes. After work, I can just like, you know, I can wring it out. If like I wear like a, Entering the traditional, we used to call them wife beater t-shirts, but now that's, see that's inappropriate. You're just punching down a, that's the whole fucking point of it. She shouldn't open them up. Ah, don't talk like that. No, um, but I wear a black A cut t-shirt. There's, it looks like a tie dye when I'm done. I got spare headphones. You want my spare headphones? You turn it up. We can't hear you. The destination of this train is... <laughs> I usually, you know, if I weren't using headphones right now, I'd turn on Slayer and turn it all the way up. Just because if you can do it, I can do it too. What, do you think you're better than me? Huh? Are you that conceited? You conceited fuck, huh? Huh? Next so, stop. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. where did that come from? That came from 02127. That's where exactly where that came from. But really, um Yeah. Gratitude. Blessings. 
I'm very grateful. And blessed. And it's been made all the difference, so... Yeah, it's helped me. I wish to pay that forward just to other people. Totally go to bed at 7.30 these days. Yeah. Because there's nothing much going on. I'm so exhausted after a day's work. And that's that. I'd rather get an extra hour of sleep because I need it, you know? I slept straight. I think I slept for freaking at least six or seven hours straight last night. Out. Uh-oh. The unhoused people are dropping their fucking... Their, their fucking crack pipes and shit. Hey, at least it ain't New York. Gotta say that much. And listen... My, my Biden voter joke is a fucking joke. So fucking relax. The only thing worse than a Biden voter is a Trump voter. And the only thing worse than a Trump voter is a Biden voter. Seriously. It's the best you fucking people can do. Seriously? Fucking seriously? That's the fucking best you can do? These two fucking old men creeps? That's on you people. I still think it's hilarious, though, that you get the squad in Congress, five or six women, the destination of this train is to do the same Fox equal Green. polarizing, antagonistic, no smoking, please. ideological job of one Republican man. So you need five women to do the job of one man. So the squad is literally equal to Trump, ideologically speaking, of course. Oh, why do you say that, Eugene? Fuck off. Leave me out of your fucking politics. I'll leave you out of mine. Oh, for fuck's sake. Being held at the station. Thank goodness. Oh, boy. I told... Oh, no. I told you. Chronic angries, chronic lonelies, chronic mopies. It's a great combination. No wonder why there are so many bitter people on the Internet. And no, you're not going to make yourself feel better for smacking that person in the head. You're only going to get yourself in trouble. Potentially arrested. I advise against violence. Don't do it. It sounds fun in theory. It's not the 80s anymore. Next stop, Central Square. With gratitude, I'm grateful and blessed. I got my foundation eight. I've added a couple to them. And I'm getting ready for work. What are you grateful for? Let me know in the comments section. And uh, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you for hanging out with me on my morning commute here at your dojo for practical and tactical spirituality. It's the Morning Gratitude Show. That's right. Now 100% incel free. It's all voluntary, trust me. <laughs> you have a wonderful day. God bless, namaste, good luck. Tune in Sunday for the comic book review show at 3 p.m. Uh, for the live stream. Um, and um, 
I don't know about Sunday the the tenth for Mother's Day because that's for my mom. So we'll see if we have a live stream on Sunday. We might take the week off. Mother's Day. And gee, and um, blessed and grateful they want to hop in the car and come up all the way up here. <laughs> you know, instead of me going down there with the busted T. You know. The T being the the MBTA, the Massachusetts Bay Transit Authority. That T. All right. Take care. Have a good one. Like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.